Basta yan. May nagana po sa inyo. Sino naman? Sa dito. A lot of Filipinos lot are forgetting Filipinos about the history about and history culture of the provinces, the provinces in the Philippines. The provinces the Philippines. We cannot let them forget let about them forget how they are today. How they are today. You, chosen home, are, are about to change the destiny. What are we supposed to do? Hindi naman kami capable of being a chosen one. That is why I am giving you these four gems na magbibigay sa inyo ng kapangyarihan. One that can turn into witch, that is able to see and can bring you back to the past. One great archer that sounds the arrows can make anything vanish in an instant. One mind reader that can also manipulate objects and last the blood manipulator that can make his own weapon using his own blood and can also manipulate other muscles. My countrymen, we have reached a turning point in our history. The choice is yours. Shall we venture into this brave new world, bright with possibilities, or retreat to the safety of our familiar but sterile past? The future of the Philippines lies in your hands. Kayo ang maguguhit ng kapalaran ng Pilipinas. Magellan, before she gets explorer first time in the Philippines. Where? How are we going? Where are we? I think this is the place where Ferdinand Magellan conquered the Philippines. Esas espeguerías que procuramos. ¿Ah? Rentos. Ahora es mi ensayo. We have to run. Troca de estes, eu lhe darei este. Region 8, located in the eastern part of the Visayas. Eastern Visayas, officially known as the Region 8, is an administrative region in the Philippines. 
It includes one extremely urbanized metropolis and six provinces, namely Biliran, Eastern Samar, Leyte, Northern Samar, Samar, and Southern Leyte. City of Tacloban serves as the regional hub. The main crops grown in the eastern Visayas include rice, abaca, corn, coconut, sugarcane, and bananas. 17. The legend of Mount Kanglaon, there once lived on the island of Negros, a princess named Anina, who led a very sheltered life. The people called the mountain Danglai, meaning Dang and Mulai. The swampy sitio where the couple resided was called Tacloban, as the last scream of Mulai and became Tacloban. Region 8 is also known for some of the country's historical events, notably the first Christian mass in Limasawa Island and the world's longest naval battle in history, the World War II Battle of the Lady Gulf, or the famous MacArthur Landing in Palo Leyte. Region 5. Pico is the adventure capital of the Philippines and is well known for its active volcanoes, tranquil whale sharks, secret beaches, and spicy food. It is also the region that holds the most men entering the seminary for Catholic priesthood or women entering the religious life to become Catholic nuns. The Spanish influence in Pico resulted mainly from the efforts of Augustinian and Francisian, the Spanish missionaries, one of the oldest dioceses in the Philippines. The Archdiocese of Cáceres was also instituted in the Bicol region. Bicol also has Latin American settlements and cultural influence from Mexico due to the abundance of chili pepper plantations in the area, as it is Mexican in origin. Ayikana! Ang galing mo din, Riyada! Nice one! Region 6. Region 6 is the producer of the sweetest mango in the Philippines. Aklan, part of Region 6, is considered as the oldest province in the Philippines, organized in 1213. Region 6 includes two very urbanized cities, Bacolod and Iloilo City, as well as the following six provinces, Aklan, Antique, Capiz, Guimaras, Iloilo, and Negros Occidental. One of the top food producers in the nation, the region also produces sugar, coconut, bananas, fruits, root crops, and vegetables. Sinisila ng higante ang pamumuhay at pamamahay namin. Alam ko kayo lang makakatulong sa amin. Doon! Doon! Maria, Maria, Maria. Dari ang kalang palang. Naririnig mo ba ang siling ng mga tao? At dito tayong tagapagligtas! Ayaw mga yan? Tagapagligtas? Ay naku, Maria. Wala ka na talaga. Region 4. To the Executive Order 103 on May 17, 2002, Region 4 was divided into two, for a Calabarzon and for Bibi Maropa. Calabarzon provinces are rich in history as the capital of the revolution during Spanish colonialism and have been the cradle of the country's most glorious heroes and leaders, such as Dr. Jose Rizal, Emilio Aguinaldo, Apolinario Mabine, and Manuel Alquezo. 
Calabar Sun provides a variety of tourist spots, from heritage towns to luxurious resorts. Cavite and Batangas boasts itself in producing various types of Kapeng Barako. Meanwhile, Farby Mimaropa is dubbed as the treasure trove of Southern Luzon. In 2005, Palawan became a part of the region. From pristine islands to cultural heritage sites, Mimaropa showcases a deep tree of natural marvels and cultural gems. Kita ko pa yung apat na nagmamas Ano ang yung mga pangat? Gusto niyo bang matutong yung mga? May inaharap lang kami mga bagay na kailangan namin sa ating paglalakbay. Maaari mo ba kami turuan na mabal? Para maging handa kami sa aming paglalakbay. Halina tayo mag-insayo. Why are we doing this? Anong nasa isip mo? She's the goddess of war and poison. Ina Gini. Kayo ay handa na sa inyong paglalakbay. Bago ko kayo paglalakbayin, ito ang inyong paglalakbay. Region 7, Cebu, Bohol, Negros Oriental, and Siquijor make up Central Visayas. The second smallest region in the Philippines is Central Visayas. One of the most developed regions is Region 7. There are a few gods in the Visayan pantheon that are significant in significant occasions for a Visayan community and Inaginid and Makandok are examples of such deities. The Visayas has the fourth largest regional economy in the nation. They are the embodiment of war and they also serve as an example of how to wage war, conduct siege, and plunder for Luna! the ancient Visayas. Luna! Nandito na ako, Luna! 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 Nandito na ako, Luna! Sino kayo? Anong ginagawa niyo dito? Dapat ikaw yung tanongin namin. Anong ginagawa mo dito? Kailangan mo puntahan si Luna, ang aking mahal. Tulungan natin siya. Kailangan niyo makita si Luna. Region 2 also known as Cagayan Valley. Region 2 is the largest island in the Philippines. It consists of Batanes, Cagayan, Isabela, Nueva Vizcaya, and Carino. Region 2 is predominantly rural and has agriculture as their major industry. The region holds the longest river in the Philippines, which is Cagayan River. It flows through the region and serves as the essential water source for irrigation and transportation. A popular myth of high tides from the Ibanic story, Mar and Luna, where Luna is the daughter of the sun god and Mar is the son of the sea god, one day, these two met where the sky touches the sea. Convenient meetings caused the love to bloom between them. I did not expect that all of you would reach this level. Tama nga ang hinala ko. Makakain niyo ang pagsubok na ipinigay ko sa Siya si FMS. Kanaanap sa sana at ilang kusunod. Magaling, Mao. The power that I gave you suits you. But be farewell to the power of your mind. Mao! Hana, please save her! Ang kailangan gawin niyan, Hana. This is this. Hana! Stop, guys! Say goodbye to the powers that I gave you. things in this world that we do not want. Let us just not mourn them. Let us change them.
Region 1. Region 1 named as the Ilocos Region consists of the provinces of Ilocos Norte, Ilocos Sur, La Union, and Pangasinan, captivating travelers with its rich historical charms and natural Region 3, also known as the Central Rizal in the Rizal of the Philippines, it consists of seven provinces and three highly urban cities. This region contains the largest plain in the country, with its agricultural lands becoming the largest contributor to the Philippines country. There's another popular legend in Region 3, where the name of the Alokapo came from. In a village, along the Subicho, lives a lobby and care leader named Apo. Because of his greatness and leadership, enemies became envious of him. One day, they found Apo's head and built in a pompous pool. Aside from the friendship, I have learned some trivia about each province, and it makes me think that the Philippines is such a great country. Philippines is also rich in culture and history, but a lot of us are starting to forget about it. As the next generation, we knew that they will start to have no idea about the culture of the Philippines as they start to not care about it. By the missions we did, we hope that to the next generations, they still don't forget about the history, the trivia, and the culture of the Philippines, because without them, our country is not what it looks like now.